What's going on, people? Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show. I do every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you were to tell your friends, you know, check out this stupid Christian dude, I totally wouldn't be mad. You're sure this guy's a Christian? Yeah, I think so. Truth. And with that being said, let's start the day off with some YouTube news. I guess I don't know if you'd call it YouTube news or TV news, but the founder of BET, Robert Johnson, is making a YouTube channel that is faith-based called All Right TV. And of course, at first I was very excited about this because, hey, it's a Christian YouTube channel. But immediately after that excitement, I started thinking, what is a Christian YouTube channel? Like, I'm Christian news, so what is a Christian channel in general? Because when you say Christian channel, I immediately think Christian TV, and that terrifies me. But when you say, like, Christian rap, I think Lecrae, or you say Christian comedy, I think of Blimey Cow. But according to Johnson, All Right TV is going to have comedy, self-help, reality, and talk. Meant to entertain and empower the family audience. I hope that it works out, but I always have that fear of someone saying Christian and family friendly and thinking that that's the same thing. And if you don't believe me, next time you read your children a bedtime story, try to get something from the Bible called Song of Solomon. And then please let me know how it goes. All right, TV should be launching around March, but there's no set time for when they'll have a show actually air. And since we're talking about TV and entertainment type stuff, we might as well talk about TBN's new phone app. Because I have to be honest, I probably make fun of Christian TV way more than I should. But the truth of the matter is I completely avoid it at like all costs. And it's simply because whenever I have watched Christian TV, it was either terrible or there was something that I was really kind of getting into and then they like canceled it right away. And the reason that I say that is because the same goes for TBN. I know nothing about the network or the 20 different channels that they air. I know that them running 20 different channels is awesome, but I don't know what any of those 20 channels are. But if you're like me and you know nothing about TBN and want to know more, you can go and download their new phone app. I know I did because the app was free and it's airing live feeds of their channels. And so even though I'm not like a huge fan of Christian TV, I know I'm gonna check it out because hey, it's free. And then really quick, I just wanna throw in some scary news that I found out today. Because people lately have been really worried about United States drones in other countries. But it turns out that since 2007, there have been over 1,400 drones in the United States. Now I'm sure a lot of these drones are like little small airplanes that Uber can control, but some of them have been like the huge predator planes. All of them as of yet have been unarmed. A lot of them are controlled by like police officers, but still, it's kind of scary. And of course, it's bringing all sorts of controversy on privacy issues. So what do you guys think about having these drones in the United States watching you from the skies? As always, please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer, and we go on to the final story of the day. And the final story of the day is about Valentine's Day because 5,000 groups of about 400 in 200 different countries did a flash mob. If you don't know what a flash mob is, YouTube it, and you won't feel bad afterwards. But usually when people do flash mobs, it's kind of for fun, and there's no real reason behind it. But as I said, 5,000 groups participated in this, and they had a purpose. All of them did it to spread awareness about abuse towards women. And I mean, I've always known that domestic violence is a big deal, especially in the United States, but I didn't know it affected like a billion people. And this flash mob did so many things. I mean, it didn't just spread awareness, but it also brought tons and tons of women together to say, hey, you aren't alone. I mean, if you are doing something and it is entertaining and it's making a difference, my book, you're doing something right. I mean, it just blows my mind that 74% of the United States claims to be Christian and we have violence like this in our country. It doesn't seem like it should be a crazy question, but it is to think what would happen if we actually took our faith seriously. Remember the question of the day is how do you feel about drones being used in the United States? Please leave a comment in the comments below with your answer, leave a video response if you want to. My name is Cody, I'm bringing news to the Christian community every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In closing, let the haters hate, let the Christians pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I'll see you later, and God bless.